Hey everyone, in the previous video we touched on sets, and they're very similar to lists except they don't have any duplicates. We can use this difference to our advantage if we're working with lists and we want to count each type of element. So, you know, we want to know how many swords we have, we want to know how many slices of pizza we have. Well, I'm going to show you how to do that and we're going to use list comprehension and sets. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to make a list of counts. And where is this list going to come from? Well, we're going to generate it using list comprehension. So we're no longer going to work with this backpack to set. So what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of that and just worry about backpack, which is a list. And for every single element in this backpack, we want to count it. So we say backpack dot count and pass in, we'll just go with item for the variable name. So we want to count each item in this backpack. Then we put the for loop to get this item. So we say for item in backpack. So if we want to see what we get so far, we can just print counts and run this. And look, we get a list of numbers, three, one, 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 three, three. So it's basically saying we have three swords, one rubber duck, one slice of pizza, one parachute, three swords, and then lastly, three swords. So this seems to do the trick. It's counting how many of each item. However, the problem is that for every item of a particular type, it counts them again. So how in the world do we say, oh, we only need to count sword one time? Well, all we have to do is say set and put backpack in parentheses. If you remember the attributes of a set is there's no duplicates, so it's only going to count sword one time. Running this now, we get three, one, one, one. You could also put the item name here if you want. So you could put comma item and then just put this inside of a list itself like so. And now we have a list of lists, each one with the item count and the name. So we have one slice of pizza, one parachute, one rubber duck, and three swords. To test this with a bigger list, I'm going to replace backpack with this. So now we have sword, rubber duck, slice of pizza, and parachute, but we have that repeated a bunch of times, and then a few other items, a cannon, a laser cannon, a cannon 90D, and a can of soup. So it's kind of like a video game where your backpack can carry literally anything. And let's run this, and it seems to do the trick too. We got four rubber ducks, four swords, one cannon, one can of soup, one laser cannon, four slices of pizza, four parachutes, and one cannon 90D. If you didn't want to put these in a list and you just wanted to print it or something, you can do just that. You're pretty free to do whatever you want. So for example, we can print the count and the item and get rid of the list and run this now. We get a bunch of print statements and it says the number and the item. And then obviously here, the list is none, 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 because we're printing counts. So 